Welcome to In the Kitchen with Miley. I'm Miley from Miley's Thai Bistro and today we are making Ong Choi beef. Ong Choi is also known as water spinach. This vegetable is hollow inside and it cooks just like spinach, it cooks down really fast. So it looks like a lot here, but once it cooks down, it's just gonna be perfect. So let's get started. I'm going to turn on my heat here. Coat my wok with a little bit of oil. Make sure your wok is nice and hot. You want to make sure that your wok is really hot and you know that when the smoke is coming up. And right now, my wok is really hot. So let's start with some garlic. Ooh, it's hot. Now we're going to add our beef. Cut that down. I can smell the garlic. Okay, now we can add our ong choy. Now for our stock, I have homemade stock here. You can also use water if you don't have homemade stock. You can use chicken stock or vegetable stock if you wish. And that's going to help cook down the ong choy. Now I can add my oyster sauce. And the yellow bean paste, which you can find at the Asian grocery store. This yellow bean paste is made out of fermented beans. It has this really earthy, pungent taste. It goes well with a lot of stir fries. It makes the stir fry a little bit more exciting. Okay, you're gonna let this cook down just a bit more. It doesn't take that long to cook, just like spinach, it doesn't take that long. Now that our ong choy has cooked down a bit, we're going to thicken it with some cornstarch. Okay. Give it a quick stir here. It's thickening up. And now we're ready to cake. And there you have it, ong choy beef. For more information on this recipe, check us out on our Facebook page at Miley's Thai Bistro, or come in and visit me at my restaurant located in Hawaii Kai. All right, let's have a taste. Mmm. Beef is still tender and the ong choy, very crunchy. There's a hint of saltiness from the soybean. It's perfect. I'd love to eat this with some steamy jasmine rice. For more information, please visit us at miley'staibistro.com.